Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Good Morning Providence. I'm Caitlin Gellhouse. Welcome back. Holy guacamole, just <laughs> like every July 31st. Today is National Avocado Day, and we've got a way for you to celebrate. Panera is unveiling what they're calling the ultimate millennial meal. We begin with breaking news. A police investigation has now been ongoing for hours in Mansfield, Massachusetts, and that's where we find Good Morning Providence reporter Josh Kerman. Josh, what do we know right now? weekend murder in Providence has been arraigned and now we've learned more about the victim as well. 56 year old Sean Slaughter is facing three charges. President Biden announcing he's withdrawing from the 2024 presidential race. It's the largest one since the Cold War with 24 prisoners and multiple countries involved. A permanent U.S. resident was also freed in the deal. Ceci, the sun isn't up just yet, but the air already feels really humid, really sticky. I did also notice some rain drops on my way in for a part of my drive. So what's going on out there? Yeah, absolutely promising to be a great day as we've been advertising it. Some residents may have discolored water. Take a look at this photo shared with us from Jeanette, who lives in the area. Jeanette says this was the color of their water from the sink this morning. Now expect delays if your morning commute brings you along I-95 North this morning. Two lanes of traffic are blocked off near exit 38 right now. The state office's exit due to a crash. It happened about 40 minutes ago, but police and the fire department remain on scene. And Mansfield police have released new information on a manhunt that led to a shelter in place. And we first brought you this story as breaking news Wednesday right here on Good Morning Providence. Mother headlines we're following for you this weekend. Shots were fired at the St. Mary's Feast in Cranston last night. Mayor Ken Hopkins says the shots were fired at the West Restaurant and Lounge during the St. Mary's Feast on Saturday night. North Providence is coming to a peaceful close early this morning. The scene has now been cleared and roads have since reopened. Good Morning Providence reporter Josh Kerman joins us here in the studio with a look at what happened. Josh, what can you tell us?